This is Maria and thank you for joining. Uh, today we're talking about working from home and uh, maybe <laughs> most of us that can work from home are already working from home due to COVID, right? Uh, but I want to talk with you about the benefits and the disadvantages of working from home, okay? Um, okay. So I used to work at my office and used to work from home about two to three times a week. So it hasn't been a big of a change for me, but I do have to confess that I love and I used to love just as I like before uh, now um, working from home because uh, it's a change in the uh, environment I normally work. It's the change in, in the people I have besides. Uh, and now that I'm working from home, I feel like, like I own my time better, like I own my productivity better and it's amazing just feeling at home to be more like, like fresh, I don't know, like you feel more free to, to feel how you want to feel, to work how you want to work, if it's in PJs, if it's with, uh, formal clothes, um, if it's just, I don't know, however you want. If I want to go drink a glass of water, if I want to go drink a uh, hot cocoa, um, it's just like whatever you need to feel better right now, you can have it right now, okay? Um, if you live with, with someone um, and you want to tell them something, hey, they're just right there. If you want company, hey, they're just right there. If you want to go out, if you're feeling stressed, you can just go walk through your house, outside outside your house, or you can go with your pets. You can go in the morning or in the afternoon to get a little bit of sun. It's just there for you um, to liberate stress, right? And it's a great thing for you being able to do whatever you want to do to feel better, okay? So that's it. Um, the disadvantages is are that you will stop social socializing. <laughs> um, yes, it happens. Like, you can still talk with your co-workers and you can not can, <laughs> you need to talk with your co-workers. Um, but, you get to 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 feel free with who to talk and who not to because sometimes people just come talking to you and you lose focus um okay so you lose your socializing right um after that uh sometimes we can just get so full of work or we can get so concentrated that we don't have like this normal clock of just stopping to uh, stopping work and leaving to home because of the traffic, because I have to go get to make food, because I have to go to the groceries, um, because whatever reason, you just don't have that clock. Like you just keep on working and working and then when you realize it, it's 7 p.m., 10 p.m. and you're like, what? <laughs> I haven't gotten to the 10 p.m. Uh, limit, but I have gotten pretty late. Um, so that's it. You have to be mindful of how much you're working because you don't live to work. You work to live. And always remember that. Don't be a workaholic. If you love being a workaholic, think it through. Go to a, a psychologist. Um, it's not bad uh, worrying about your mental health, uh, but you have to think why do you love so much living for a work and working for someone instead of relaxing or instead of doing things you normally would like, like cooking, well, any of your hobbies, right? Um, okay. Uh, other disadvantage is that you just stay closed at home. If you don't have any need to go out, you'll just stay at your home all day, every day. And it's not that healthy either. Uh, you have to be able to go out, to leave your home, 
to to talk with people <laughs> because if you stay just at your house just at your home isolated from everyone and everything you you'll just start being like those creepy people that just stay at their home and it's okay if you love being that person it's okay feel free to do it but uh try to socialize with people us humans are social creatures and we need from other people to feel good with ourselves and it's not like you have to go out with 20 50 100 more people um just go out talk with a friend just go out for a coffee just go visit your aunt every time in a while uh, your aunt will always be happy to see your, you or your grandmother okay don't stay at home because you'll just start being like like something is missing and you don't realize it your energies will start dropping and you won't realize it um maybe you'll start getting depressed and you won't realize it and there's no one close near you that will realize it okay uh so that's it there are many advantages and disadvantages in working from home Oh, uh, an advantage I didn't mention is that productivity boosts up because we love where we're working and we feel free and we get to concentrate, to focus strongly, <laughs> okay? We just have to be owners of our time and our responsibilities. That's very important. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you get to do whatever you want to do you have to be responsible of the things of your desk okay you have to be responsible with people nearby with your customers and with customers i don't mean the people that your company sells to i mean the customers of your work of your department uh, maybe your customers are the banking team maybe your customers are the sales team maybe your customers are just your bosses I mean, the customers are the people that are waiting for your information, for your work, okay? So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.